After the truly tragic attacks at the MEN Arena in May, the city of Manchester came together in a very unique way, and I'm here to find out a little bit more about it. And this fella has something to do with it. I'm Josh Marshall, and welcome to Glimpsed. This was the moment that everything changed. The perpetrators of the attack wanted Manchester to change for the worse. Instead, we came together. Whilst now sites like this are commonplace on the streets of Manchester, so are these. And bees, the bee being the famous symbol of the city of Manchester. One group of people using this symbol were the tattoo artists and I came to Studio 9 to find out a little bit more. So I'm here at Studio 9 and I'm here with Sam uh, and you guys were um, one of the tattoo studios that really came together after the uh, Manchester tragedy. What happened? Basically someone just started this event off in Manchester where they kind of were giving out £50 bee tattoos and the donations all went to charity to help uh, victims of the uh, attack uh, in Manchester. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a good little thing that came, came about. We started getting loads of floods of emails coming through, messages on Facebook, people were not really wanting to kind of get booked in, you know, and kind of give their money to Manchester and kind of be a part of the city as well, I think. I think the tattoos kind of represent represented being part of the city as well and people kind of like that. Like, being, being part of being something quite literally because of course yeah. it was the Manchester Bee that yeah. people got on. Yeah. What kind of people got the Bee? I would honestly say everyone, like there was people from all age groups coming, there was old people, young people, couples, you know, there's, there's, there was every single person you could imagine coming in, uh, trying to book in, you know, we had to, we were getting so many people and we had to try and thumb it down and kind of like, we always had so few people away unfortunately because there was that many people coming in, but it was great to see such a good good amount of people coming in and from all different parts of Manchester, from all different walks of life coming in, you know, there's people full of tattoos coming in for another little gap filler and there's people coming in who hadn't been tattooed before, who wanted yeah. it to be their first tattoo, that was usually the, old, the older ones, but you know, it was just great to see people coming in and kind of wanting to be part of something and kind of give money to something that they could see the effect of and were affected at back mm. in the first place as well, so it was a good, it was a good experience. And how many bee tattoos did you do in the end? I mean, I know you can't give me an exact yeah. figure, but thousands? Yeah, there was a lot. I wouldn't, I couldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to give a number, I'll say thousands, I don't really know, but there was a lot. There was, we, so it was started as like a two day event and it went on for about a week in the end, just because people constantly wanted to book yeah. in and do it, you know, and then even tattoo supply companies came together and said we'll give a bit of money. A part of it, I think, I think the thing is to be a part of Manchester and that kind of what that be represented and it does because the be is the Manchester symbol, you know, and it's a good way to kind of come together and show you know we are Manchester and this is the kind of people from Manchester. Uh, it was a good it was a good experience yeah. Did any of you guys get the bee? Uh, I didn't know I'm not yeah. actually from Manchester. Oh, okay. I come from slightly outside of Manchester. But it was interesting to see even the people slightly out of Manchester, you know the towns around it coming together as well, coming I, to show support to Manchester. I read that there was a tattooist in Auckland, yeah. New Zealand that was doing was the bee. Doing, yeah. And they raised, you know, I think it was eight, nine hundred pounds or something like that. And um, so people that weren't even Mancunians yeah. were getting the bee and the you know, Yeah, that's it. I think everyone just shows their support, especially when it's so local and even the towns around it, you know, you're affecting you from Manchester day, you're working the city, you know, and you see you see the things happen, you see people come together for a good thing and it's it's good turn that negative into a positive and yeah. things that people did. Yeah, fantastic. Oh well Sam, really nice to stretch cool. here. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah. Zoom in a little bit. Wow. And was it the same bee that you did for everyone, or was it if people could request people, we did, variations? We did kind of like the, the general bee we did do, but you know, people asked for different variations or colour or a bit of this bit and that. And we did kind of sort them up for people, we kind of mix up to kind of suit the person. Um, but generally, going, that was kind of the one that we, that we kind of were doing. Okay, brilliant, cool. And was it always on the arm, or did people ask for it on like the, the arse or the, uh, the yeah, leg? Or people, people ask <laughs> for it. it yeah, well, you know, arms, wrists, you know, uh, I think someone has a run back of the neck, you know, stuff like that. People have it uh, everywhere, right? You only have to take a little stroll around Manchester streets to see people proudly wearing their bee tattoos. What a great story of love in the face of hate. 
I've been Josh Marshall. Thank you for watching, and please do like and subscribe.